Hey, man, y'all ever heard of the ball earth theory? For real, man, it's a ball earth theory. You know what I mean? But before we get to that, y'all ever heard of the uh, sphere with no end theory? Y'all ever heard of the sphere with no end theory, man? It's crazy, man. I've been reading real recon, man. Been over here reconning, man. <laughs> now, my son uh, brought this up to me, man. He said, hey, uh, what is a sphere with no end, man? A sphere with no end. First of all, man, there's a ball earth theory. All right, there's a theory that you're on a ball, a ball, my nigga, all right, and you're spinning around over a thousand miles per hour, man. And you're and you're shooting through space at sixty-seven thousand miles per hour, man. Circling the sun, catching up to the sun, circling it. And you're on a wobble, my naga, and somehow you still see the same damn constellations <laughs> that our ancestors were seeing. <laughs> come on, come on, Jack. The same damn, the same, we got the same North Star. We got the same Polaris. The same damn Polaris, man. All right, but look, man. So that's what they call the ball or theory, man. But y'all ever heard of this? The sphere with no end theory, man? All right, let's just check it out here, man. I mean, maybe y'all could read it with me. Uh, you know, let's just start kind of in the middle. Despite what it may look like, the world is not really as flat as a pancake. <laughs> there is no waterfall at the edge. There are no corners to the globe. Now, I mean, you might be like, duh, I know there's no corner in the globe, but why would you need to say there's no corners to the globe on which we live and struggle and laugh and die? The world is a sphere that has no end. Like, this is play, play, man. You know what I'm saying? I got my little droplet reading this, man. And, and he got to come to me with this confusion. This confused look, and he's like, you know, Daddy, man, what's this? Abba, what's the sphere without an end, man? I'm like, man, why you messing with, with my mind bone, man? Stop jamming up my mind bone, man. He said, Nah, man. I'm like, for real, like, have you heard of a sphere with no end? I'm like, you talking about a ball? You talking about circumnavigating a ball? Like, consistently doing it? Is, is that a sphere with no end? What is a, can y'all leave a comment and let me know, man, what your version of a sphere with no end is? And then, you know, tell me, man, are they just fucking with us a little bit? They're just kind of messing with our mind bones. Now they got our children jamming us up with these questions. Hey, uh, Abba, uh, what's a sphere with no end? Sphere. A sphere with no end? You know what, but it does make sense when we put it back in the, you know, context. And we know we're talking about worlds beyond the poles, my God. And they're throwing around words like globe and sphere. But when you put it in the right context, they're really just talking about, you know, these, you know, instead of it being four corners, like that's all you got. The creator keep creating, man. You got more land and more land. It might not be an end. To land, man. You go, you're gonna have to accept this, man. You're gonna have to uh, dig on it. It might be that the creator keep keep on creating. I mean, it's light work, right? It's light work. Can't the creator create more land just with the mind bone, man? Just maybe you can create some land with your mind if you were your proper self and your in your proper frequency. If you were connected. So why would the creator? You know what I'm saying? Why would there be an end to the creator if the creator is the creator? I mean, what do you call creativity? If you're being creative, that means you're literally creating shit, right? <laughs> Doing stuff. But you're talking about the creator. So why would you think there's an end to the creation? Because that's where your book ends, man. That's where your book ends, man. I mean, can y'all let me know, man, if they just messing with my mind bone, man? Despite what it may look like, the world is not really as flat as a pancake. I mean, think about that. Why would that? 
Just think about the word choice, is what I'm saying. Think about the word choice. The world is not really as flat as a pancake. So are you saying it's a ball? you just saying the world is not really as flat as a pancake. That's something that we say we try to explain to people like we ain't talking about a, a flat earth. You know, that's just a misnomer. You know, the earth has levels to it. You know what I mean? Just think about the trees. Think about these giant trees. The roots of those trees are the caves and the cavern systems, man. So even when the trees got cut down, Remember, man, every tribe had a tree. Think about them giant avatar trees and all the the vegetation and, and the life that you're able to feed your whole tribe off this tree. That's your tribal tree, right? Every tribe got a tree, my naga. Look at all these trees, man. Every tribe got a tree, my naga. Huh? Can every tribe have a tree? <laughs> Does that make sense, my naga, man? Hey, man, is we popping off or what? Man, I told y'all, man, it's the fourth wave, man. Every tribe got a tree. So when they cut down the tree, the tree's still rooted. So the tribe just went into their tree. Like that's they that tree carries they 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 memories, man. They flow the water. You know, they still got the water. You know what I mean? We just ain't been properly educated, you know. But we used to live all the way, man, to to the to the highest heights in these trees, man. Look how giant these trees are, man. We're gonna be digging more in these castle rocks, man. Dig on castle rocks. Love to the family that dropped that uh, Cali Bell X girl, Bell Calix girls. I'm like, hey, hops, aqua, about the castle rocks, man. Just just Google castle rocks, man. See all these castle rocks, and they really just tree stumps with stuff built on it or in it. I mean, look, man, this this world may seem like a strange place to you real fast, man. You have to be ready to accept a new reality, and this new reality ain't new. It's called the ancient love song. You've been sold on a falsehood, a false reality. You've been given false gods. You've been given idols. <laughs> You've been given uh, just you know false education all the way around, false orientation. You think the north is north, or is the northeast, or is the north south? Is Antarctica really down, or is it up? Hmm? Where's the center? Is it Peru? Is that what it call Cusco, the navel of the earth? The navel of the earth? I'm just saying, have you heard of a sphere with no ends, man? A sphere, my nugget, with no ends, man. So dig on it. We know what they're saying, man, that we got worlds beyond these poles and that the creator keep on creating. And you can't be just spinning on a ball because then that puts a limitation to things. As soon as you are on a ball, it becomes finite, right? Now you're in a finite situation, right? So that's what we say. That's what we say. Now you're in a finite situation. And they just said you got a world without an end or a sphere without an end, my nugget. <laughs> so you got to, you know, let me know if they play with our mind bones here. Love to the droplets, man. Digging on it, man. Hey, man. Plenty of drop in this joint, man. I mean, even if you, uh, Grown, it's cool to dig on cartoons and, 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 you know, mythological books, man. You might get some drop, some drizzle. Hey, shout out to the tribe and shout out to the Eat the Squad. August 2nd, popping off, man. Season 4, TDR. And a hop to all the shot by time, digging on it, spreading the good vibrations, because we feeling it, man. We charged up right now, man. a hop to Natural By Law, we already won, man. We battled up, man, because we in battle time. Shalom, Kana.